Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share what is in Campbell's diaper bag and also share some info about my actual diaper bag. If you are new to my channel, my name is Logan and I share a ton of home related content and as of late, I share a lot of baby content. I have shared a lot of pregnancy updates and just decorating Campbell's nursery, the clothes that I have bought for her and different baby products and all that good stuff on top of sharing my usual home and decorating content. So if you are into all those things plus more, I would love for you to subscribe below. And if you have a friend or relative who is pregnant, definitely share this video with them. I'm going to talk about my diaper bag and share some info about it. I will also be giving one of these diaper bags away to one of my subscribers who follows all the rules and follows the company, the diaper bag company that I will be talking about today. So if you want to see everything that I'm taking to the hospital for Campbell and learn more about my diaper bag, stay tuned. So first of all, I just want to say that this diaper bag is so roomy, like so large, such nice quality for the price. It is around $60 and it's Amazon Prime. The company is called Miss Fong and they have their own website, but they do sell their diaper bag on Amazon. And I was just blown away when it came in. It has like 16 different compartments. I'm going to show it to you. And then I have like some of the more descriptive info like pulled up on my phone so that I can tell you everything about it because I know I'll forget something pregnancy brain but so much room in here not only for the baby and everything that she needs but so many different parts that moms and dads can put their items into so that you're not taking a purse and a diaper bag or taking multiple items somewhere. There is definitely enough space in here for mom and baby. So I'm just going to talk about it a little bit. There are different color options. This is my favorite color. And it's kind of like a bucket style, like half moon style. And you can wear it like four different ways. You can just put it on your arm like this. I have the backpack straps on it right now, but it also comes with this long strap that you can attach from the top of this side to the top of this side and wear it just like a purse or a crossbody. There are stroller straps that attach, like you can attach it to the bar on your stroller. So many different options like this bag works for everyone. There's something about it that everyone will like. So, like I said, very large and roomy in here. Lots of different areas to keep things organized. Y'all know that I love, I'm all about organization and everything has a spot. And in this bag, everything will definitely have a spot. So many different zippers. So it comes with several different straps. It also comes with this waterproof changing pad that like matches the bag. If you're in a bind and need to change the baby like wherever you are, if you're at someone's house, if you're in your car and you wanna just change them in your back seat or in the back of your car, you can put that under them and change them on the go no matter what predicament you're in or I just personally I feel like changing tables at restaurants and stuff are not the cleanest they could be <laughs> so um, even if you're in a situation where you have like a changing table or something you could still slide this under them so that they are on 
your changing pad and not on the public one but so many great things about this bag there are 16 different storage pockets eight inside and eight outside there are also two insulated spots inside the bag for bottles there is a large pocket in the back with a button and like on amazon they show like a macbook being slid down in here so if you need to get some work done on the go like i could put my camera in there i could put my little macbook like it can serve as like a backpack or a purse for you and then there's plenty of room for the baby stuff too so i mentioned that the inside has two insulated pockets so if you are pumping and you're somewhere like even if you don't have the baby with you like if you are going to work or something and you're pumping like your breast pump would fit in here you could put what you pump in the insulated pockets you know when you leave work going home or when you're with the baby you could put two bottles in those insulated pockets there's so much space in here and there's a lot of little pockets too which i love this is the Speaking of little pockets, this is the stroller attachments. So you just attach it like to the top of the diaper bag and like it goes on the bar of the stroller. So I'm gonna keep like these little straps and the long strap in one of the small compartments inside in case I need to switch it up. But I think we'll use the backpack straps the most. Um, I especially feel like Ethan would wear it more when we go places if it's a backpack style. So that's what I'm going to start out with. And then there's like a small zipper compartment where you could put like little passies or if you need to take any kind of medicine like diaper rash cream, anything like that, you could stick that in there. There's another small compartment where you could put like your burp cloths, a swaddle. There's a big open space for like several extra outfits, diapers. There's a small place for wipes. Like literally you could pack this thing. Like I'm taking quite a lot. I'm taking several, probably more than I need to take to the hospital. And like all of her outfits, swaddles i'm taking a couple of blankets like all of that fits into this bag and then there's still going to be all the outside pockets and zippers where i could put other stuff before we go to the hospital that i need just to stick somewhere so so many different options so much space it is waterproof and all of the clips and zippers are 18 karat gold and this is just like a little example list. You can see this on Amazon, but this kind of gives you more of an idea of just how much this bag can hold. But it says it can hold three bottles. It can hold like your big, like, what's it called? Not, not a mug, but like a, like a something like this. Cause there are outside zippers that I, I'll probably use that for drinks too maybe like an extra bottle of water or something see there's there's like outside pockets on each side for like mom and dad to have a bottle of water and then there's insulated pockets inside for actual bottles and then there's also zippers on the sides if you need to zip something in there something small to kind of keep separate from everything else and then on this clip you could clip like your car keys or if you have like a little one of those wallet keychains you could clip that in here so that you don't have to take your purse or you could clip passies to this like one of the little passy clips so that you'll always have the passy with you so many different options but it says you could pack like eight diapers, two packs of wipes. I personally think you could put way more than eight diapers, but this is just an example of all of the baby and adult things that would fit into it. 
three outfits, one laptop, one iPad, two pair of baby shoes, two toys, and then one like blanket or swaddle. I mean, I don't know if it looks big on camera, but this thing's huge. But it's not like huge in a bad way. Like I don't want something that's like huge and it's hard to carry around and you know, just a hassle. It's like a really great size that's convenient and I love the shape of it, but it just holds so much like the way it's made. So that's like a lot of info about the bag. And then I am going to link in the description box below Miss Fong's YouTube channel and Instagram name. And if you will subscribe to their channel and follow them on Instagram and like comment under this video with your Instagram handle, then they will be able to see that you subscribe to their channel and followed them on Instagram and you could win a $60 really nice backpack diaper bag for free. And even if you are not pregnant or, you know, trying to get pregnant and thinking about a diaper bag right now, this would make a really great gift for someone in your family who could use a diaper bag, like a little Mother's Day gift, a Christmas gift, a baby shower gift, something like that. So I highly recommend doing that. And like I said, I will have their info linked below, but it is at Miss, M-I-S-S -S, underscore Fong, F-O-N-G underscore official. So follow them on Instagram, give their YouTube channel a subscribe, and you could win a free diaper bag. So now that I've shown you all about the diaper bag, I'm going to show you what I'm packing in the diaper bag when we go to the hospital to have Campbell. So I love to give Campbell updates on my channel. Um, I went to the doctor today. It was my 34 week appointment. She is measuring 36 weeks. She is two weeks ahead. She's in the 70th percentile for like babies her size at this point. She is weighing six pounds exactly. And we, she has been consistently breech. So I've been really optimistic about her turning herself because she wasn't completely turned the wrong way. Like her head was on this side of my belly. So she would really only have to turn like a quarter to be head down but today when I had my ultrasound she is completely like her head is up under my ribs and her feet are down where her head should be so we are starting to talk about options because I'm getting closer and closer and it's really looking like a c-section will be best for Campbell and myself but um with that being said we aren't completely sure yet and I don't know I think it varies like how long you have to stay in the hospital after you have a c-section I think it could be one day one night I think it could be two nights we'll just have to see so with that being said I have probably packed a couple of extra outfits that we might not even need if I don't have to have a c-section or if I only have to stay one night We'll just have to play it by ear, and this is what I'm taking. All of this fits into our nice, roomy, new diaper bag, so I might just take a couple of extra things, but I just wanted to give y'all a little Campbell update and show you what I'm taking. This is in the order that I'm going to put it into the bag. So this is her going home outfit. I have kind of shared this on my channel already. If you've watched like the video where I was packing my hospital bag or where I was sharing like clothing hauls. This is the Feltman Brothers outfit that I wore home from the hospital 27 years ago. <laughs> so that is what Campbell will be wearing home from the hospital. And then it has a little bonnet that matches. 
and my mom ordered her these little Feltman Brothers shoes. I left the tissue in them just to kind of hold the shape because they're like really soft. I guess you would call them like crib shoes, maybe. And if these are too big for her, which we're afraid they will be, I'm just taking some little frilly white socks and we'll just bring her home in the frilly socks without shoes if we need to. And I'm also taking some jewelry for her to wear home. Most of this is jewelry that I wore home from the hospital. So this little necklace I wore home from the hospital. It's a little gold necklace that says Daddy's Little Girl. I don't know if y'all be able to see it very well. I wore this little gold ring home from the hospital. It's like very dainty. You're probably not going to be able to see it. But my mom like had the little ring on my finger and then wrapped this little satin bow around my wrist. Like so the ring would stay on. And then I think my mom ordered this bracelet. But it's like pearls with gold and has a little C on it. Because I wanted to put her in the gold jewelry that I wore home from the hospital. So that is her whole like coming home outfit. And that will be packed into the bag first. Because obviously the last day of our hospital stay, however long it may be, she'll be wearing this home. So I want it on the bottom. Next, I'm taking this little Campbell, has her name all over it, Swaddle. And I'm thinking Swaddle her in this with her big white headband. And this is a mud pie Swaddle that's animal print. It has a little bit of like blush in there with the usual browns blacks and whites and i think i'm gonna put this like over the you know the little beds they put them in and they have the little mattress pads and now you can order actual like mattress pads that look like this from caden lane but we would use that like once i didn't want to do that so i want to use like this swaddle and just put it over the mattress like a sheet just for like her first picture probably and then we'll have this extra little lightweight blanket at the hospital if we need it I mentioned this in my last video but i love when like especially moms and little girls have like matching outfits on and like like the day I have her like the first picture that I take of like me and her I have I bought myself a pair of light pink PJs from Walmart that have little peaches all over them and my mom ordered Campbell this light pink swaddle that has peaches and then it came with this headband that has peaches so we're going to do like matching PJs and swaddle instead of me getting like a robe that matches her. So that will be like her second outfit change. And then that's it for the swaddles. I just wanted a couple of pictures of her like in these two swaddles. And we can use them as little blankets if we need to. But the rest of what I'm taking is just gowns. I'm taking three different gowns because I don't know how long we'll be staying. So both of these gowns that I'm showing are from Caden Lane. And they both have her name all over them, but they're different colors and her name is in a different font. So this one's like light pink with her name all over it. And then this one's more of like a mauve and her name is in cursive. And both of these will match her big white headband that I'm taking. And then for her third, if she were to need a third gown, I am taking this one. 
I just love the florals. And I got this big headband to go with it. So this is kind of like a backup outfit. I think we might only need one or two gowns, but I've never had a baby. So, I mean, she could have a blowout or something or throw up all over herself or I guess spit up would be more accurate. But I just want to make sure we have enough stuff there. And then, of course, I will take her, um, I'm taking a boppy pillow. I'm taking her barefoot dreams blanket to have at the hospital and on the way home. I'm also going to take like a couple of passies I think to see if she likes those and what brand she maybe likes. And I think that's it for her. I'm working on my bag but I haven't really gotten in a hurry about that one yet. I still have, like if we schedule a C-section, my doctor said it would either be at 38 or 39 weeks. So I would, I will be having her unless something changes and she like turns herself or something. I will be having her in four or five weeks. So I still, I'll probably, Probably in like two weeks, I'll have my bag completely done. I'm just, I'm just trying to wait. So that's everything that I'm taking to the hospital for her and my diaper bag. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. Please leave it a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to subscribe below. If you are new to my channel, I'm so glad you stopped by. And if you want to see, I'm sitting in Campbell's Nursery right now, but you cannot see very much from this little rocking chair. So if you want to see like how her nursery completely turned out, my last video is an updated nursery tour. So make sure you go back and look at that. I'm also planning on filming like an updated home tour this week. So I'll be sharing that later this week or next week. So stay tuned for all of that excitement. I hope you all are having a great week. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.